Hello everyone, it's Silencer here today, and today I'm gonna be doing a guide uh, for Disc Priest. I've already done one for Shadow, now it's Disc now. I'm just standing at the dummies, but obviously there's not really anything to show on the dummies. So for Disc Priest, basically what you want to be going for is, it's either between uh, Angelic Bulwark or Desperate Prayer. Here you want to be taking Body and Soul or Angelic Feather. Angelic Feather is way better than Body and Soul, but some people prefer Body and Soul because it's much easier to use. As for Mana Regen, is the 45 talents. I've gone with Solace. If you can keep it, if you use it off cooldown, you get nice Mana Regen. If not, then I think Mind better, Bender will be better for you. Surge of Light is very rarely good. For especially for disc, it's not good. Uh, for level 60, it doesn't really matter what you take. I've gone with white tendrils just because it doesn't really matter what you take there. For 75, uh, spirit shell is uh, not worth taking at all. Power infusion, power infusion is very good. I'll explain to you exactly why, but that's basically the must take for that one. Cascade is the uh, one to be going for right now at level 90 talents. Halo is not that great because if people are out of range then it won't hit them and they won't get healed and they won't get the uh, Divine Aegis. Divine Star is not really great at the moment. It really needs to be buffed and stuff in order to be any good. So Cascade because it hits all targets no matter how far away they are. It heals a decent amount and yeah. So it's good. Then for level 100 talents, you want to use Clarity of Will in most situations. Word of Mending can be good in other situations, but Clarity of Will, most of the fights are good for it, I've noticed. Saving Grace is just terrible, he doesn't want that at all. So basically, the reason you want Power Word infuse or Power Infusion is because you're going to want to use this during the fight to cast Clarity of Will on one of your tanks, whoever is tanking the boss. And like at the start, you can buff it, uh, put it on him. And then during the fight, if it's like a, a very hard hitting fight, then you need to apply it quickly. You pop uh, Power Infusion and quickly put it on the tank. Or if the tanks need to swap, and now you need to re put the bubble on, then you do that. And you can also use it to spam, I guess, AoE heals to in the AoE heal situation but I found it more useful to if you need to urgently apply clarity of will to one of the tanks so that's my uh, talents my glyphs are uh, glyph of penance so you can cast it while moving really good at all in all situations but the mana is tw it uses 20% more mana but it, you know, you barely feel that, in my opinion. I've never felt that 20%. It sounds so much, but I barely feel it on my mana pool. Then, uh, must have, in my opinion, is the Glyph of Weakened Soul. Reduce the duration of Weakened Soul effect caused by Power Word Shield by 2 seconds. Now, if you remember correctly, as you leveled, you got the improved Weakened Soul, meaning it's already reduced by, I think, 2 seconds. So, another 2 seconds. So, that's a 4 seconds in total. Or it might be more. I'm not sure how much the. Let me just quickly show it actually. Uh, Enhanced uh, power shield. Reduce the relation of weakened soul caused by a power shield by 3 seconds. So that's 5 seconds in total. Uh, reduction of weakened soul effect. So you can bubble much quicker on the target, which is amazing for this priest. Then, because you don't want to stand, you won't always be close to the boss, you want to take Glyph of Holy Fire, which increases the range of your Holy Fire, Smite, and Power of Solace by spell by 10 yards. This could obviously be replaced if you're going to be close to the boss or something else. There's not much to take, so I would not really know uh, what else to take. I would just say use this, because looking at the gloves isn't really anything major else you want to be taking. So that's my gloves, that's my talents. As for rotation, as you probably know by now, I hope, if you're a healer, there's not really a rotation for healers. It's mainly just fucking use what is going to be good for that situation. As al although there is one thing for this preset you must always know. F for an Archangel, obviously you need to get five stacks, which will be the best to use it on, which you need to DPS for. 
and only with five stacks and archangel you want to be using prayer of uh, mending no no it's healing sorry let me just quickly check fuck I forgot get confused with prayer of mending and healing all the time as soon as I can find them oh wait there it is yeah prayer of healing sorry not prayer of mending only with six stacks you want to be using prayer of healing reason for this is it increases the next critical strike of your slash heal or, or heal by 100% and increases healing I think by 5% for each uh, stack of ever ever logism or whatever you get that buff the what's it called I'm just gonna, that buff so yeah it, it, it does help uh, but I would not I would not waste the six stacks and the one 100% crit on a single target heal I'll definitely use it on an AoE if I was you because you can get all group divine Aegis for about 35k by doing that instead of getting one target then again unless uh, you really need a big heal on a tank or something then it's a different story you can use it but yeah mostly you want to try, probably try and use it on a AOE group yeah, anyway that is the disc priest guide if you have any questions leave it in the comments below or send me a private message either way I'll get to you if you have any questions thanks for watching